Hey fam, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be doing a full face of black owned makeup brands. So if you are curious to find out what products I use to create this look today, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. Okay, so for this full face of black owned makeup brands, I am starting out with a few products on my face. One is my brows, which I know on camera look a little bit intense, but in person, I am so thrilled with them. I use the Mented Brow Down Brow Pencil in dark brown, and I think this performed beautifully. It didn't smudge, it created really nice clean lines, and filling in my brow with this pencil was a breeze. Additionally, this little product I am obsessed with. This is the Eye Appeal from Black Radiance. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. So can you see the dark lines in my brows, like the little hair strokes? I don't know if it's showing up great on camera. I think you can kind of see it here in the front, the mixture of light and dark. Those little brow strokes were created with this little fantastic product. I am obsessed with this. It is so fantastic to be able to go back over once you've kind of penciled in your brows to create those distinctive brow strokes that I personally struggle with because my brow hairs are so dark that it's kind of hard to show distinction. But with this product, it really created like a more natural looking brow, even if they're intense like they are right now. I am so thrilled with this product and I highly recommend it, so fantastic. The other product that I already have on my face is from Fenty Beauty and this is the Hydrating Primer. I also purchased the Black Radiance True Complexion HD Primer. This is 100% oil free. I did use this yesterday. This is my second time filming this video just because I wasn't crazy about the look I created the first time since everything was really new to me. And I just wanted to do a better job for these brands. So that, that's, that's the tea. But this primer is tinted. So as you can see, it is a little bit too deep for my skin. However, when you do blend it out, it does tint your skin, but you don't see it under foundation. However, I wanted to use products today that I was really confident in. I'm just not sure how I feel about turning my skin orange first before applying the foundation on. If you do have a complexion that's lighter than this, I'm not sure if this primer will work as well as intended. However, the formula I thought was beautiful. It did keep my foundation on all day. It looked really beautiful under my foundation. And I think it would be a great product if you do have a medium to deeper skin tone. So today I use the Fenty primer and this is a great product for dry skin. Fenty does also have a mattifying primer as well if you do have more oily skin. I wanted to give this product a chance to soak in before I went in with foundation. So I did this ahead of time. But now let's go ahead and jump into our first product. Today for my foundation, I'll be using the Instabake Aqua Glass Foundation from Beauty Bakery. This is a beautiful foundation. I did have an opportunity to do a wear test on this yesterday, and I can say that it did wear very well on my skin. I did notice that it kind of wore away from my mouth and my nose, but I was blowing my nose so much, so that could completely be my fault for blowing my nose and such. But that's the only area that I noticed it wearing off my skin, and it created a very nice base for the rest of my makeup. The shade I'm using is 351N. I just put some on the back of my hand, and I'm going to apply this to my skin. It does look very light at first, but it will blend in perfectly. I think the finish on this is really beautiful. It creates a very flawless base for the rest of your makeup. And a little bit does seem to go a very long way with this product. I put the two pumps on my hand and I still have a ton of foundation on my hand and I still am spreading this around my face. Like I still think this has a ways to go to blend out. So you definitely don't need a whole lot. It does it blend in beautifully, giving you a very good coverage, I think. You can still see some of my little marks here through the foundation, but for how little I had on my brush, it is really spreading far. So we have the foundation on, everything's kind of blended in as best as I could do it. I do have to say that this foundation blended a lot better on top of the Black Radiance Primer than it did on top of the Fenty Primer. It's getting a little bit patchy on top of the Fenty Primer, 
but on the black radiance primer it really looked very glowy and beautiful I also applied it with a sponge and I think that worked a lot better than a brush so those would be my recommendations is go in with a very hydrating primer first even though this one is hydrating it doesn't seem as slippery and slick as the Black Radiance was, even though the Black Radiance was oil-free. It just really provided a really nice slippery base for this to really glide around and didn't really get stuck to like my skin. Whereas with the Fenty Primer, I'm finding this a little bit trickier to blend and it's getting a little bit patchier on my face. So I'm glad I'm actually doing this twice because it's given me a lot more feedback to give to you guys having worn these yesterday and then putting them back on again today. So next for concealer, we're going to go with the Stay Woke Concealer from Oma Beauty. This is fabulous. So this is another one where a little bit goes a very long way. I just start with a couple little dots. And this really does provide a lot of great coverage. Y'all know I'm usually like one of those swipers. Not with this. Definitely don't need to with this. I'm just going to very gently blend this under my eye. And this was really beautiful yesterday. I didn't notice any creasing. It didn't look dry. I did need to set it with a powder because it did start to separate when I just let it let it to its own devices. I had watched Michelle Wong's video on this concealer and she had mentioned that she liked the side that she did not set better than the side that she did set. So I tried that at first, but I found that on me I had to set it. Now we'll see if this combination today with the Fenty primer, it does seem to be a little bit of a drier primer than the Black Radiance primer. We'll see if maybe this does set a bit better today with the Fenty primer underneath of it. For our powder, we're gonna go in with the Mented Loose Setting Powder in Light Tan. This stuff is fabulous. Now I have tried a decent amount of setting powders and I have to say, this is one of my favorites. Like, I want to reach for this one. I am gonna set under my eyes. <laughs> and I totally meant to do my eyes first because I've been doing that recently. And I really like it because I can go a little haywire with my blending and then just wipe it away. But, we'll just do it a little different today. This powder feels really comfortable and light. It's not cakey. It's really beautiful, very soft, comfortable to wear. Keeps your makeup nice and set. I didn't notice foundation breaking up all over my face yesterday. And it really has like a nice blurring effect too. So I'm just gonna kind of sit around, make sure my foundation isn't sticky so that my other face products will blend nicely over this base. So next for my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Shady Biz from Fenty. This is a beautiful bronzer. I also have this shade in the sun, which I'll use for my nose contour. And I picked up this beautiful highlighter from Oma Beauty. This is in the shade Barbados. And it is huge and it smells like coconut dessert of some kind. It's so delicious. I can't stop smelling it, it's so good. I actually blended the two of these together to create more of a glowy bronzer and I'm gonna do that again today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap a bit into my Fenty product and I'm just gonna tap right in to this highlighter. Then I just want to gently pat this in. And you can see that beautiful glow. Oh, it's so stunning. I'll grab a little bit more of my bronzer and continue to blend. And it is just such a gorgeous summer glow. I really like that combination. Just moving up into the temples. I think that's so pretty. And we're just going to kind of tap it in. Up into the temples. And then for my forehead, I'm just gonna to turn to the other side of the brush. Just tap the Fenty bronzer and just kind of work up here around my face. Look how glowy that is, isn't that pretty? I love this. Then I'm gonna use the Indus Sun bronzer, which is a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler. And I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. 
And I really like this new brush I'm using because it's got like the like duo fiber bristles and it gives you just a little bit of a lighter application, which I needed because my nose contour was a little crazy, but you know, I'm learning, growing, trying. This creates like such a nice soft contour. For blush, let's get and tap into the Juvia's Place Volume 2 blush palette. I think this is so beautiful. I'm going to lightly tap into this pink blush down here. And I want to go very gently because this is super pigmented. Just basically tapping into the pan and then gently tapping onto my cheeks. You can see that glow from the highlighter still kind of peeking through. It's so pretty on the nose. Then I did pick up the Juvia's Place Volume 3 highlighter, but what I found with this one is it might be a little bit too light for my skin. It's a little beaming, as you can see, <laughs> but it's really pretty if I mix it. So what I found I really liked is if I take some of this highlighter and mix it with a little bit of this color right here. This is Zoba. It's like a light pink highlighter and pull in a little bit of this Barbados highlighter, I get a really nice tone for my skin. I'm gonna go a little bit of Juvia's, a little bit of Zoba, and a little bit of the Barbados highlighter. And I'm going to very gently highlight. I don't wanna do too, too much, because I already have a lot of glow going on. Okay, so before we go into eyes and lips, I wanna set my face using the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Baking Spray. You wanna give it a good shake. Now, the cons of this product are the fact that the second ingredient after water is alcohol. So if you are sensitive to alcohol or you don't wanna use products with alcohol, it is the second ingredient in this. And I will tell you that while it has a sweet spray when you spray it out, it is overwhelmingly alcohol smelling. However, it is so, beautiful it creates a gorgeous veil on your face it keeps your makeup in place everything looks smoother more melted in and beautiful if you can get over the kind of like alcohol cloud that will be there for a little bit you know like when you first spray it, it goes away but when you first spray it, it is a little bit overwhelming how alcohol smelling it is it is to me so worth it <laughs> for how beautiful your skin will look So yeah, just don't breathe for like four seconds, three seconds, and you won't even smell the alcohol. Already, you can kind of see it's like melting. And it just creates this beautiful veil, especially as it dries and as the makeup sits on your skin. It just, oh, I really love this stuff. For lips, I have another favorite. This is also from Beauty Bakery. And I forget what these are called because I threw out the box, but they're 10 bucks. I got it, this at Ulta. Oh, the Cake Pop Lippies. Cake Pop Lippies, that's what they're called. And they're little minis. It, they come in a cardboard component, which I think is great because it's so much better for the environment. And it's covered in cute little cake pops. How adorable. And this formula is beautiful. My lips, which are right now covered in foundation, which I will take care of in a second, tend to show lines, they're dry, it's a pain. This is a super moisturizing formula and I thought it looked really pretty on my lips. I'm gonna pop this on. The color I got is Bastini Ice. It's like a really pretty nude shade. As you can see, it applies beautifully. It looks, I think, very nice on my lips. I really like the color. And I did go in first after I clean up my lips with my Katsy Lou H2O plumping gloss, which I wear every single day. I love that stuff. It just helps to really moisturize my lips. So this looks really beautiful on top of that as well. And I think it adds like a nice little shine. But this is a matte formula. It's super creamy though. I really love this. So for eyes, we're gonna use a couple different products. We're gonna start with Juvia's Place. This is the Violets collection. And it's one of the mini palettes with six shades. And we're gonna basically just use this kind of lilac-y colored matte and use that all over the crease. Then we're gonna go in with two other eyeshadows and make it a little bit more special. So I'm starting with this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna tap it into that purple shade. And we're gonna pray to the fallout gods to have mercy on me since I've already done my face makeup. I'm just 
going to build this up in the outer corner and sweep it across. And I want this to be like the base shade for everything. We're going to add some shimmers on top and some glitters. It's nice that this color blends out to be kind of a little bit more, like if you wanted to, you could kind of blend it to a lot lighter of a shade. So it has versatility, but I like that it can also build up to a more intense purple. So now that we have that build up, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then we'll be back for the next shade. I did both eyes and then I went back in with this littler brush. It's kind of more pointed. Same exact shade and I just dragged it under my lower lash line like that. So we've only used that one purple to create the eye shape. Next, let's reach into the JD Glow Galaxy shades. And I am going to grab this shade here. This is insane. And I want to use this shade as my lid topper. So what I'm going to try to do is keep this a little closer to the lower lid, like not go up too, too high. It's really pretty. And I'm going to try to avoid getting fallout. So I'm just taking my time. I still want us to be able to see that really beautiful glitter from De La Rue Cosmetics. really pretty I think okay so now let's go on to the glitter to figure out where I'm gonna put it I think I'm gonna do it in the inner corner I'll have to try more stuff later with these I'm just so afraid I'm so close to the finish line I don't want to mess up this whole look because of my skill level isn't where it needs to be quite yet so I'm gonna try just a little bit of this glitter glue and I'm gonna keep it right in here and then I'm gonna take my little pigment, I'm gonna dip in my liner brush, and then I want to just place these glitters as best as I can here in the inner corner. Obviously you can go way more dramatic with these. I just don't want to try to do too much. You can see I'm definitely getting a little bit of fallout under there that I'll have to sweep away. Let's do the other side real quick. A little bit in the inner corner, this glitter primer. Kind of coat the brush. I'm just kind of sticking it in there. And then you want to place it right on top of the glitter primer. And as you can see, it is incredibly beautiful. I'm going to quick just Try to dust what I can away. And then just for fun, I got my little gemstones and I'm gonna grab a little dab of lash glue, put a little dab right here and a little dab right here. I don't know if this will work, but I think it will. So I'm figuring while it's kind of sitting on my face, it's probably doing that like drying thing that we all wait for our lashes to do. <laughs> Let's hope. Grab my little tweezers and we'll just stick it to the lash glue. I think that's fun. I am going to throw on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Y'all, I was gonna put lashes on, but I think we're good. I don't even think we really need them today. This makeup is so beautiful and I want the eyes to show more. I don't want my big lashes. Blocking out JD Glow's beautiful little duochrome here. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. I cannot rave enough. I feel so happy with my makeup today and I'm so grateful that I got to try these brands. I encourage you to support black owned makeup brands. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it provided some information about some brands that you may not have tried yet. I love you all so much and thank you so much for being here with me today. Until the next time. Bye.